Hello everyone, this is Dirky Sprawl, and I'm about to walk you through some Mind Show tutorial, just kind of the basics, especially for uh, Oculus users. Since technically it's not Oculus supported yet, mostly for Vive, the, some people are a little confused about the mapping of the controllers and how they work. So I'm just going to kind of explain a little bit of the screen first. So to start off, you have your play stream, which is a stream of different shows that other users put on there, including the developers. So it'll kind of let you play through them, or if you want to mix them. Then we got to create your own show, which you can do from scratch, which we'll do in just a minute. And then we got uh, the replay intro, which I haven't gone through for a while, but basically it'll kind of help you set up and kind of go through the basics with you. And then you got the whole learn to create, which is a lot of the tutorials. And also beside the stream is games, which uh, they put on every few days and they have a certain time limit in order to jump in on. Basically, they're just shows with a blank character you can jump into. So it's a little bit of uh, fun there. And then you got your own shows, which you end up from when you create shows or remix, they're thrown on here. Which I got plenty on there. And over here on the side is your user, which the number under your username is how many streams you put on there that you shared on the stream itself, as well as your uh, friend list on Steam that you have that also, you know, people to play my show. Then you have your news over here. All right, so and oh yeah, one last thing. When you do a regular show, it's pretty much you're stuck with three characters and a small amount of props. So if you want to change that, if you want to add more, you're going to turn to your left. Boom, you have labs. So when you click on that, you're going to click on both controllers until it turns on. Now, once you have that on, though, the only way you can turn it back off is if you restart the program, which, yeah. Because once you put labs on, you can't share the stuff to the stream. And then that basically allows you to have 99 characters, 99 props, and after a minute of recording time. All right, anyway, let's jump in here. So what I'm going to do is I got my uh, Oculus controller. Basically, you're just going to use A. Let's go create. No, actually, it's a right front trigger. You're going to create a show. All right, when you start off, you're going to have your, pro your scene layout, which you have several different scenes to choose from. You got a little more on the right. So you got different varieties, some of them have different interaction with different sets. So let's start with, uh, let's go with a little office room. So you're going to click on that with the right trigger in the front. All right, now you kind of get started in a default space. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your joystick and you can wheel it around, just not clicking on it, just moving it up or down, and you get this wheel to pop up. One of your top options right here is to jump in your character or hop in. So whenever you set a character out there, you can jump into them. And you have your camera, which you, once you have it set on a certain position, you just let go of the stick and you have that chosen. And you got here, you can move around. If you want to move stuff around, like, uh, let's say I got this plant here. So once it lights up, you can pretty much do whatever with it. So you click on the right front trigger. You can kind of move it around, and if you want to move it further away without moving your stick around, you can push your joystick up or down to make it further away or bring it back to you. And once you have it somewhere you want to put it, you just let go of the trigger. Alright, so we got our scene. Now, if you want to teleport around, which is the bottom one, you're going to move your joystick towards that way and let go. Now, you can basically move your self around the whole scene wherever you can. If it's blue, you can move in that position. And all around it is basically your play area you have set. These other two, I'll explain in just a minute. You got delete. You can delete objects. And this is scale, which I'll show in just a minute. Alright, so let's say you got your place you want to be. So we're going to go from here. You're going to pick a character. Now you have your characters to choose from on the next tab down. And right now, since I don't have labs on, you can only do up to three. So now you can scroll through different ones. So we got plenty to choose from right now. So let's go with uh, uh, somebody to choose from. Let's go with Kale. All right, so now I got your character pick. You can basically just place him wherever you want, as long as he's blue. If he turns red, that means you can't place him there. He'll just reset. All right, so I'm going to pick it back up. All right. So we got our character right there. You can put him in whatever direction you want. Once you have your character in place, what you're going to do, you're going to hop in. Now this allows you to play that character when you jump into him. So you're going to hit with the right trigger in the front. Boom. I'm in my character. Now, 
you have to make sure your audio settings are right because if they're not and your input isn't set right the game will just basically freeze and you have to restart it so that's you know you got to make sure you have that set right all right so now i'm in the character and i have different options here on the wheel it's basically where my controllers are at i can move around and all that good stuff now if i want to not use this mirror thing here let's say i want to use a shadow because i'll usually use that because you can see more of your character and what they're doing so that basically allows you to control the emotions wheel you have here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hit B, and this is gonna create a shadow character. Boom, right there. All right, so now I got my shadow character. What can I do with them? All right, so you got your different emotion cons here. So you got up is happy, down is sad. Uh, you got a surprised on the left and angry on the right. So all you're gonna do is just move your joystick towards that area. So now I can look at my character, he's happy. He's shocked, he's sad, and now he's mad. And there's a little bit in between, so if you can kind of see us slowly transitions to different emotions or back and forth. So while you're recording, that's, you just gotta take that in consideration, you can you control their emotions. All right, on this other side, you have record, which you're just gonna, what you do, you're gonna click down on the joystick in order to record. And from there, it's gonna do a countdown of three, and then you, basically you can talk, perform, and it's gonna record for up to 30 seconds. Unless you have labs on, then it's going to do a minute. So, let's go ahead and do that. And now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record what I'm doing, what I'm saying, all that good stuff. I want to use emotions, like if I'm happy, yay! And then I get sad, oh man. You can tell, you know, this is pretty much what's going to happen when you're performing. So you go around, you can walk around your play area, if you got a big enough play area, all that fun stuff. All right, now it's done recording, or if I wanna jump out, you can hit stop. So it records up to 30 seconds, and once it's done, it's gonna pop you back out of the character. Or, if you wanted to, you can hit that eject button if you don't wanna record in there, by accident you clicked on it maybe, so it's gonna jump you right back out. So you're gonna push the joystick up and then click down, and then you'll jump out of the character. And other things you could do, you got props here, you could throw into a scene. Like if you click on this, it'll pop it up. Then kind of the same concept, you can move, move the joystick back to bring it closer, up to bring it further away, you can set it on things. Just gotta make sure it's blue. Otherwise it'll disappear like that. A lot of these props, like smaller ones, you can interact with your character. So if you jumped in there, and basically if you wanna grab something, you're going to use your top trigger to open and close your hand. This is on both sides of the both controllers. So if I want to pick it up, got to bring it close there. You can grab it with your right trigger or left trigger, whichever hand you use, and you can move it around just like that. All right, so we got that. I got one character there. You can set props using the same thing with your right trigger. And let's say you want to throw another character in there. Basically, it's going to allow you to do multiple characters. So if you have a certain thing you're thinking of to do for a scene, you just got to leave some space between him talking and it'll record over on the other side. So I'm going to hit record. I'm going to jump out of this one early. I'll show you when it does. And now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record what I'm doing, oh. what I'm saying, all oh. the good stuff. I'm going to use emotions. Like if I'm happy, yay. And then I get sad. Oh, oh man. You can tell, you know, this is pretty much what's going on. See right there, I hit down on the left joystick and that jumps you right out of the character. Now this one's gonna keep playing, but this one will stop whenever I jumped out of it when I hit the stop button. So that pretty much from there, you can hit play and it'll now, play the as scene. You can see, uh, it's gonna record what I'm doing, what oh. I'm saying, all that good oh. stuff. I'm gonna use emotions, like if I'm happy, yay. If I hit reset, it'll start it back from the beginning. All right, another feature we have on here, besides the regular props, if you connect your Google account, you can use uh, Google Poly, and basically whatever you like in Google Poly, it'll throw in here in this menu. Now I gotta warn you, there is some Google stuff, Google Poly objects that won't work. They'll either come out clear or they just won't pop up into the game. So if I want a big thing of fries, it'll pop up. And just like other objects, I'll show you the next thing.
On this other part of the wheel you have on the right is called scaling. On this, you're going to use your right front trigger to click on an object and hold it. And basically you can move your controller up and down and it'll change the size of the object. Now you got to make sure it stays blue, otherwise it'll just go back to the normal size. So you can shrink it down and you just let it go and it'll be set wherever it's at. This also works with the characters as well. So if I want to make her bigger, just like that, or if I make him smaller, it's the same way. You just move your controller up and down when you're clicking on him with the right front trigger. And from there, you can play. And now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record what I'm doing, what oh. I'm saying, all that good oh. stuff. I'm going to use emotions, like if I'm happy, yay. And then I get to say, what? That's a pretty neat feature. All right, now... When you go through here, once you're done with the show, you can either save it as a file and I'll let you save the name. You got uh, you can clear everything from the scene if you want to start over and calibrate if you want to, need to calibrate your arms again because sometimes the setup may not be correct as far as where your controllers are in the game. So you can calibrate from there using the right front trigger to click on all these. Now the other option you got here is called experimental features. You have two different tools that will pop in but they're still a little finicky. So you're gonna hit that with the right controller. And now your wheel's gonna change to two different options. You got Ragdoll, you got a glue tool. Ragdoll is basically used for the characters. So if you have a certain, so let's say you have, I want her to fall to the ground. So I'm gonna click on it. And then you have the option with your joystick and you're gonna bring it up to bring your characters to stand up. Or if you wanna Ragdoll them, you're gonna slowly bring it down. Which right now doesn't seem to be connected with her. It usually works better with the record tools. So when you want to record, you're going to hit this button here. Oh, she already ragdolled. Now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record. What so I'm if you doing. want to bring her back I'm up saying, while it's recording, all you're going to bring saying, it back up. She'll stand back up. If I'm happy, yay. And then you I got to bring it back down. Oh, man. You can tell. You you know, bring it back up. This is pretty much what's going to happen. Back down. So you go around. You can walk around your play area if you got a big enough play area. Now you can hit this stuff. record button again. And usually when you perform it, it's going to record it while you're performing. So you can either save performance or you can discard. So we're going to go and save this. And now, now make sure before you try to do anything else, you're going to have to go turn the tools back off. And you're going to hit play. Now she now, should recreate what see, I did for her. Uh, it's going to record what I'm doing, what oh. I'm saying, all that good oh. stuff. And back up. Emotions, like if I'm happy, yay. And then I get sad. Oh, oh man. You can tell, you know, this is pretty much what's going to happen. So you see, when you do the performance record, it's going to let you do all that. The other tools you can use for that, if you want to move something, or if you want to scale it, you could even record when scaling. So let's say, I want those fries to move up and down when recording, so let's see. And now, as you can oh. see... Uh, Never mind, that was kind of a glitch what there. Doing, what I'm <laughs> saying, all that good oh. stuff, I'm going to use emotion. So you can see why it's called experimental tools. <laughs> Alright, so let's save that. We'll see how it works. Place through. And now, as you can see, oh. uh, it's going to record what I'm doing, what oh. I'm saying, all that oh. good stuff. Alright, so the performance tool whenever doing the scaling stuff. Sometimes it looks kind of finicky when you're actually performing it, but usually it'll kind of go back to where it should be whenever you play it back. Alright, and the other tool we have on here is the glue tool, which you push down on your joystick. And then basically you take objects and you can place them in the air, you can place them on other stuff, like if I want to put that plant up there, put that over here. You used to be able to glue stuff to the characters, which I'm not sure if it still works or not. So let's say we get that on her arm, just for the hell of it. Now we're going to so gotta turn that back off, we're going to hit play and see what happens. And now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record what I'm doing. <laughs> What oh. I'm saying, all that good oh. stuff. I'm gonna use emotions, like if I'm happy, yay. And then I get sad. Oh. So you can see why it's still experimental. So it's a little finicky. This is one of those weird things. I mean, you can stick to keeping things pretty basic and it still be a lot of fun. But uh, as far as everything else, so you got save the next. When we do share, now when you have a performance done, you can actually record it using a camera. I'll go to that next. All right, so you got to set up here. What you're going to do with the camera is you got to hold the right trigger on the front of the controller the whole time you're recording. 
So whenever you stop, you let go of the controller, it'll stop recording, but you can keep recording from there if you want to change position. So I'm going to start recording from here. And now, as you can see, uh, it's going to record what I'm doing. Now I let go of the trigger. I can either uh, bring the camera back up or you can teleport to different places so you can get a different angle from another part of the video. So if I bring the camera back up, when I push down the front right trigger, it's going to start recording again. But from that I'm position, saying, all that good ah. stuff, I'm going to use emotions. Like if I'm happy, yay. And now I'm going to keep, say I want to get another shot from up here. And then I get sad. Oh. oh, man. You can tell, you know, this is pretty much another option you can do with the camera if you want it. If you're not the kind of person who likes to hold it, if you want to just have it in a fixed position. You're going to use the right lower trigger on your um, either middle finger down here, and then you're going to hold it right there. It should hold the position, and then you're going to hit the right front trigger again to keep What's recording. Happen when you're performing. So you go around, you can walk around your play area if you got a big enough play area. All right, so let's say that's all I wanted to record. You're going to go to save performance. You go to share up here. Now, the cool thing here is that you have different options to export your video. So you can do everything from 540, a little small video at uh, 30 frames per second, all the way to 4K with 90 frames per second, which if you have that intensive a computer and monitor, I mean, by all means go for it. But the higher resolution you have, the longer it's gonna take for it to export. So once you do that, you're gonna hit export video. It's gonna re-record everything you just did where the camera positions are and then it'll actually export the video to your video folder in the mind show folder on your computer but if you don't want to do that if you want to share to the stream you're going to click on here and it's going to allow you to make a title for it so once you put that in there you can hit done and then you hit share to stream it'll share to the stream on the mind show application but make sure when you do that you have to move the marker so i'm going to go teleport over here you see we have a player marker, so whenever someone jumps into your shared show, they're going to know exactly where, well, they're going to be able to watch it where you performed it at. So you're going to use the move tool, grab it with your right front trigger. You can kind of move them around and bring them over there. You can turn your controller around to twist them as well. This works as well when you're moving objects. Now I'm going to use teleport to go back over there. And now when you share it to the stream, the, care, the player will start there looking right where you performed it at. And once you get done, you can save and go down here to the more option. You can save your performance. It'll save in a file so you can work on it later if you want to do some changes to it or anything like that. So once you get all that done, record it and everything, you're going to hit home. It'll take you right back to the main menu. So pretty basic. I uh, hope this really helped out because a lot of... Uh, like I said, a lot of Oculus users are kind of iffy about using this application, Mindshow, because there's, you know, it only shows that it's Vive supported. But I'm telling you right now, it works perfectly fine with Oculus. So hopefully this video helped, this tutorial helped. So if you know anyone else who wants to play this app, but they have Oculus and not sure, just be sure to share this video with them and subscribe to my channel and have fun. Bye.